Hi guys, welcome back to Best Friends Who? Oh, oui, 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 le jeu de croissant, je m'appelle James, oh, petit pois. Bonjour. Baguette. Comment ça va? Mm, comme si, comme ça. Comme si, comme ça, oui, oui, oui. Oui, 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 oui. Oh, um, I am stinky, I uh, like cheese, uh, wine, oh, oh. Mine. Oui, yes. yes. <laughs> very good, very good. Turbian, yes. yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, all the French listeners out there, you must have loved that conversation. Yeah. Um, Sorry if you're English and you're not um, bilingual. Get on like fucking us. Duolingo, guys. Yeah, it obviously works. So I tried to learn Arabic on Duolingo, by the way. Guys. Oh my god, yeah. How did that fuck go? It. I wonder. Can I speak <laughs> Arabic? Habibi. How long did that what the last? fuck? I can't speak shit like that. Yeah. It's so difficult. It, it's Arabic really is hard. so hard. Like, yeah. one of the hardest languages to learn, I would, I would say. Um, I got pretty good actually. I can, I can. If I hear it, I know what it says. Bullshit. I think Absolute I could. bullshit. I think I could. Whoever can speak Arabic, wow, you've got one smart brain because it's not for dummies like me and James. No. We can barely speak English. I did so. like a thirty-six day streak though. Of, of yeah, the, pretty of good. Arabic. That was when we went to Dubai to see your mum, right? Mm -hmm. And this year, we're going back. We're going back, baby. We just came back from Paris for my 23rd birthday, uh, hence the French talking. Um, but in a week, I think, we're Nine going? days. Nine days, days. We spontaneously decided to go to Dubai. Well, today is my mum's birthday. Yes. So happy birthday, Joe. Yeah, happy birthday, mum. Everybody in the comments say happy birthday, Joe. Just J-O, no E, because she's yep. not a man. So <laughs> jo her name is Joanna. Joanna. Jo, oh, jo, 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 yeah, it's her birthday and we thought we'd go over and surprise her. Plus, we're missing a bit of the sun. And also, guess what? Fuck it, because we can. Because we, we're, we, we're young and dumb. we're young and dumb we can. Even though we're meant to be saving for a house. Yeah, fuck that. House mouse. I live somewhere. But I can't, you know, I won't be 23 in Dubai again. Exactly. You yeah. you only live once. Exactly. And I feel like we don't want to look back when we're old and be like. Oh, I should have gone to Dubai. I, yeah, exactly. I my ass in a yacht. Exactly. Yeah. Are we going to rent our yacht? Are we? Oh, I <laughs> Who's got the cash injection for that then? <laughs> Surely you can figure something out. Me? Yay. Could rent a yacht. Okay, cool. When did I have money? <laughs> Shut up, bruv. We're going to Dubai. So you've got to have some sort of money. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> the cost for the flight and then also means staying at my mum's gaff for free. True. I'm literally going to be rent free in Dubai. Well, I want to shake my ass on it yet. Well, fucking buy a yacht then. But anyway, we came back from Paris. Yes. This is the main thing we want to talk about. I'm now 23 and I have crow's feet. That rhymed. Crow's feet? Yeah. I've been noticing that. Really fucking bad. Like, I thought, fucking hell, a crow actually did stand on your feet. Shut stand the face, fuck up, feet. bitch. I <laughs> stopped because I'm actually getting insecure. Not from Small. the crow's feet. Well. I can't say anything, really. Yeah, you. I put a photo of you on my story, and someone said, "God damn, he's aged." And someone said, "Is this an aging filter?" <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you that, but I'll tell you it now. Now that you're being fucking rude, I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you straight up. I'll tell People think you're old as fuck. People think I have the strikey face filter on TikTok permanently on my face. Yeah. That's not fucking true. We both have quite long faces. Everyone's like, oh, you've got such a unique face, James. Like, you're one of a kind. Yeah. And I thought, maybe that's like a good looking one of a kind. No, I'm just one of a kind ugly. No, you're not you're ugly. ugly, ugly out there. I feel like, like if you were a girl, it would be better because, like, you look like Katie Franklin. Is that, was that a throw shade at her or no, me or what? No, because she's pretty. She's pretty. But yeah, she so now I'm like pretty then, aren't I? Yeah, so I'm saying if you were a girl, maybe you you would look better, but you're a boy. Why, 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 <laughs> why, why? Katie Franklin, yeah, we look very similar. We yeah. both get comments every single day. Oh, you look like James. Oh, you look like Katie. That's... Yeah, but she might not even see those comments, so. She does, because she made a TikTok about it in America. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, she made a TikTok on her uh, second page. Katie Freaklin or something? Oh, what is that? class name. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> she was just like, people that I get compared to, the first one's Erling Haaland, which made me fucking laugh. Who's that? The football player. Oh. <laughs> and then um, the second one was me. Oh. And I was like, yeah. I mean, it's true though. We do look very similar. It's the you eyes. Do, you look like brother and sister. Yeah, like, it's crazy. No, it's also you, the eyes. Yes, you've got both got really big blue eyes or green. I can't tell. 
and then you've also got such big lips like you've really been blessed in the lip department yeah, but, like um, no but, filler needed yeah, but then what else am i not blessed in because i've got no eyebrows I've got big ass fucking nose I've got deep eye bags do you know what i mean hmm. anyway not about me you know i can get surgery and fix all that shit but you know your crow's like feet same. it's gonna stay forever no it's basically when i was younger I no listen listen just let me tell the story I remember year seven I was at the bus stop and there was this boy and he used to really annoy me and I always used to make this face at him that's not crow's feet I know it's not crow's feet it's another issue I've got going on so when I was younger I used to be really expressionate and I remember he looked at me and said don't do that you're gonna have wrinkles when you're older and I was like shut up bitch and I carried on doing this weird face why would you do that face to somebody I don't know Who I do honestly you think you don't were? do you know what I mean <laughs> sassy I don't know <laughs> I used to do this face yeah and I'm like, you got a neck problem it's like is you neck? do you want to fucking put your neck back up um Long story short, I wish I listened to that guy because I now have deep lines on my forehead. And I feel like now I'm 23. Is it acceptable to get uh, baby Botox? No, no, you're not getting Botox. I'm sorry. Just on my forehead, just to those lines, because I don't want to get no. them. As the years go on, they're just going to get deeper and deeper. So no, I might as well sort them out migrate now. migrate and you have to get it fucking dissolved and do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it. It's like a fucking, it's like a, it's like a gateway drug. That yeah. Botox is a gateway drug to do anything else. And I yeah. honestly, you're, you're gorgeous, you're pretty, you don't need it. And you're 20, you just turned 20 fucking three. Well, technically, I'm 24. Oh, fucking because hell. Because when you turn 23... You lived a whole year. It, you've lived you 23 one, years. You're not starting that 23rd year. So technically, I'm 24. Oh, well, then 25. It's fucking crazy. But what I want to say to you is then... What's the difference between 23 and 24? Like, you don't need... Like, it's about, It's because Olivia Neal has it. Shock horror. Does she? Probably. Oh, well, I don't know. Well, she fucking does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if she does. But I'm going to see if she does. <laughs> and she right. looks great. But what right, I'm saying right. is, Olivia Neal has it. Um, I don't know, fucking who else has it? Are you saying these people are influencing me? Yeah, people are influencing me. If, if Olivia Neal wants Botox, Olivia Neal can have Botox, right? That's not a problem. <laughs> Olivia Neal didn't influence me. Izzy Oakley did, because she's got Fucking Izzy Botox. Oakley, what are you doing then? Her forehead looks great. I never really and Maddie Grace Jepsen has Botox in her forehead. Looks great. Oh, I need to start looking at people's foreheads more. In, in, <laughs> in my head, right? When I look at girls, yeah. the last thing I do is look at their forehead. You're not a girl! You're exactly. Not a girl. I, mean, I think you'll be fine then because girls it's back girls. Girls thing. back girls. It's my own thing. But realistically, you don't there's, need it. there's that part of me that wants it. But then there's another part I keep seeing on TikTok. People are like actually um, romanticizing aging. Yeah. And it's like, it's like Pinteresty, like old people, and I'm like, wow, that's actually kind of cool. I think it's I'm kind cool. of I wanna be, excited yeah. to age. I want to be old money, really and I want to have like grey hair, nice little like shirt with like a high rise trousers with a belt, like yeah, <laughs> walking around my so my sweet. big manor garden, you know, when I'm older. I don't yeah. want to look like like want to walk around my manor garden. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I get my fucking portrait painting on me on the wall, like fucking this big, I don't want to be this doing this. <laughs> oh, good heavens I want it to be more looking like me like, yeah. I, think, I think your wrinkles or your battle scars exactly you know? it yeah. shows what you it's like a, shows it's like a tree life. a tree you can see how old a tree is depending on how many inner, inner, inner rings it has in the oak yeah. or in, 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 its br- in its trunk that's what these are man one thing I do have is wrinkly hands and I wish I put sun cream on as a kid because I never did unless my mum forced it on me never on my hands never on my face like if you're young right now Put sun cream on your hands because if you don't, you're going to be 23 with wrinkly fucking ass hands. And when I did a beauty course, um, I found out that whatever I am, I age the quickest. So like you've got blondes, you've got brunettes, you've got fair skinned, all of that. You age the quickest. Dark skinned, Asian, huh? You age the quickest then. Yes. White, pale, pale brown hair people age the quickest. It's peak. Um, that sucks for you, brother. Yeah, it does. Brother, ooh. Yeah. But Tallulah, my younger sister, she's 13. And I told her from day one, put sun cream on your hands. And she's got lovely hands, so. Yep. Great. That's really interesting. Anyway, so. <laughs> how did we get onto this? Oh, yes. Paris, my birthday. So, Paris was really fun. I went with me, my sister, and... F- Five. Five friends and James. James is one of the girlies. Well, I don't... I feel like he wanted to be one of the girlies, but realistically, he was dying inside. And oh, mate, it was fucking hell. I would, look, hell. I would look around and James would just have 
a straight face. Like, we would all be giggling and laughing and, like, making TikToks. And I'll look in the corner and James is just like... And I'm like, bruv, are you okay? Like, oh, no, I fucking wasn't okay. <laughs> no. Overstimulated to the max. Uh, 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 yeah. <clears throat> I'm thinking about that one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you guys are all doing your makeup and like, oh, oh, I'm ready. This is what fucking annoys me about you girls, right? Right, we need to leave. It's six thirty. We've got a fucking reservation for seven. It takes us fifty minutes to get there. Let's leave about five ten minutes early so we have time for traffic, right? Guys, we need to leave. Oh, I'm ready. We're all ready. Okay, okay, okay. Oh shit, I'm fucking. My hair's fucking flicked out. Like, um, what? Your hair's flicked out? Like what? I can't. Yeah, it's all flipped. Let me straighten it again. And then someone goes, Oh no, my lip liner. My lip liner. Fuck. I'm about to eat food, but I need to do my lips before I go in to get my, eat my food, and I'm gonna do yes. my lips again afterwards. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then someone's like, Oh, I really need a wee now. Oh, I need a wee. Oh, let's wee together. I'll piss in the sink. I'll piss in the fucking toilet. Right? <laughs> I'm like standing there, like nobody's actually ready to go. Oh no, I forgot to bring my fucking ring. Like it's all this shit, right? Because be a girl is hard. Door. Says you, you just put on some clothes, do your hair, and that's it. Do my hair. My hair takes me half an hour to do sometimes because it's so long at the moment, and so it's, it's my it's my ears, my makeup. Mm-hmm. Right, and I, I'm sitting in the corner, being like this, a little bit like this. Yeah, as you should. Suck it up, suck it up. What's your problem then? I said I was fine. I don't mind sitting in the corner like this. I was content. All I'm right. not gonna film TikTok for you girls being like I am the baddest bitch. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna sit there and just drink some fucking drinks and just watch you guys do what you do. You're the entertainment. I'm just looking at what the fuck is going on. It's yeah, like you're true. all groups of three doing your own well, fucking things. Well, you were there for one reason, one reason only to look after us, and that you did, especially when we were walking across the Arc de Triomphe traffic. That was nuts. You even led strangers. Well, you were looking after everyone else apart from me. I was at the back. I was left behind. I could have got hit by a car. I had no choice. You had two. Two birds on you on on each arm. You did. I did. Two strangers, two Sheilas, and two, two mighty fine Sheilas. Two. And where was I? Sheilas. Two, <laughs> fucking. Oh, I don't know how God made them, but bloody hell. But yeah, I led them to safety. You're fucking weird. <laughs> they were American and so sweet though. And they were old. Were they? Well, the mum was old. Oh, it was the mum? Yeah. Fuck off. Was it actually? Yeah. I thought they were like 25. Yeah, the, the, the daughters of the mum. But oh, the right, mum was one of the older ones. You know me, I like the older ones. Yeah, because we're dumb tourists. We didn't know that there was an underground tunnel uh, for the Arc de Triomphe. So we thought that we generally just had to walk through traffic, like a huge roundabout. I don't know if you guys have ever been to the Arc de Triomphe, but it's in the middle of traffic. And we really did risk our life to yeah, get there. I don't think she actually, what, I don't think she wanted me to lead her. I think it was more like, we'll sacrifice him. <laughs> she like dragged me in front. But I had no choice but to be in front. And like, yeah. if a car was coming, I know I was getting pushed. Do I mean to stop that car? Yeah, probably. So yeah, I was petrified. But no, it was good. It was, it was, I think it's wholesome, like, especially in places like Paris. You don't really get that kind of like community vibe there. Yeah. Even though they're American, like people yeah, really stick yeah. to themselves in Paris. So yeah. it's quite nice to have a little bit of a giggle with strangers, you know? It was sweet. But what happened that birthday night then? The birthday night, well, the birthday day was great. We had that steak, went to Arctic Triumph, went shopping, and then um, we booked Gigi's, which is like some cute fancy restaurant uh right next to the eiffel tower so we went there and there was like music really recommend they sing there's like live music and you can sing and they sing mamma mia Yo, you love that don't you yeah, i've know. got a video of them playing live music and they basically they walk through the tables and they come up to me and james and james is just like well it's all nice and all i don't fucking pay for a live music experience what i knew that they would be there i didn't that's no why one else i booked knew. it no one else knew no, they didn't. Yeah, but so everyone was excited and clapping and James was I was, was clapping just... and I was singing. You just like to pick out the negative. I was fucking deep in my carbonara, bro. She was coming up <laughs> and whispering in my ear, singing sweet things. I'm like, fuck off. I've got a missus. It's her birthday. Fuck off. Her tits are in my face. The guy's got a guitar going. <laughs> I'm like, fuck off. I've got, I'm literally carbonara all over my mouth. It's like when you're yeah. eating and the waiter comes over and goes, is everything okay? And you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I was doing. And also, they just would linger over our table because all the girls would be like, this is so good. And I'm like, you're just baiting them in here. Yeah. <laughs> but they're going to leave because you're like the best audience ever. I know. But um, the food there was good as well. Like, we got an affogato and it was 12 euro, but a tiramisu was 35 euro. It was like, when I talk, it's, like, it's like a bit more expensive than the Ivy. Yeah, I'd say so. It wasn't too The expensive. pasta was mid. It was so mid. 30 quid for a carbonara. Yeah, that's Egg nuts. and cheese and bacon. What the fuck? 
Mm. What the fuck? It tasted really How good really eggy. can a carbonara get? Not that good. It was shit. Mine was better at home, I make. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love your carbonara. You make it authentic. That's why. But anyway, after we left Gigi's, I was like, the plan was to get drunk, like have a crazy night out in Paris. It's going to be a movie. We leave the restaurant, we take some photos by the Eiffel Tower, and then we get on the underground to find this uh, bar that we wanted to go to. It was basically like a laundromat. And then you open one of the washing machine doors and it leads you downstairs to a bar. So I was really excited for this. But they didn't let us in because there were seven of us. And apparently they only let max six groups in. But we only thought that for one bar. Yeah. We went to another secret location bar, which is a convenience store, like a grocery store, like yeah. a quarter shop. Yeah. And uh, we waited out there and it was a huge queue this one. Oh, it's yeah. popular. It was like, how many of you? Seven? No. And we had trekked quite far because we're all in heels. It's freezing outside as well. Everyone is now just getting sober and just fed up. Fed up. And I was actually drunk because I was drinking at dinner, but some, most ever everyone else wasn't. So I was like, whoa, let's go. Like, even though we're not getting in a bar, like I've still got hope for this night. But everyone else was just like, Depleted. I could see they had given up. And then just as I was about to find another bar, my fucking shoe broke. So that was just it for me. I was like, do you know what? I'm going home. I can't do this anymore. I'm you held it to together so well though. Yeah. Do you know like when people get so angry where they become silent and it's almost scary? Like Isabella's normally quite theatric when it comes to <laughs> showing her emotions. She's normally she makes it known. Like, I'm angry and I'm fucking angry. Yeah. And man. everybody will know it. There'll be a big argument, there'll be a screaming match in the street, there'll be tears, there'll be you're a fucking <laughs> bitch. That's genuinely what it's normally like, right? Especially with her and her sister. I thought it was about to explode. And Isabel just looks at her sister and goes, I want to go home. <laughs> And I'm not even joking. All of us are expecting her to scream. And we all looked at each other like, holy shit. Somebody is about to fucking die. Like Jojo looked at me and Annabelle looked at me like this. I went, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I, went, I just want to go home. <laughs> I'm not upset. Just take me home. Right, Uber's booked. Let's fucking go. <laughs> so we walked, We went home. And I uh, thought, you know what? I'm not letting this night die. Yeah. I trekked an hour in smart shoes. Yep. Through Paris to buy three bottles of wine. King. And I'm the only one who drank the wine, so. I drank the wine and we watched Victorious and it was actually quite a nice night. It was actually um, a lovely night. Yeah, and I feel, I feel like everything happens for a reason. God knows what, have hap- what would have happened in the club or something like that. Oh. And also, we wanted to go to Pachamama and that was literally the whole reason. I wanted to go to Paris for my birthday because I wanted to go to a Paris nightclub. Uh, that was <laughs> scary. No, Pachamama was a bit intense. No, it wasn't. Some so- girl got rocked. Okay. She Let- got backtrack, fucking backtrack. hit, bro, so hard. So... Obviously, on the day my shoe broke, it was a Friday, but apparently Saturdays are actually the best night for Patch Mama. And I got a text that night saying you should go Saturday, so it kind of all worked out. When we got there, the music wasn't so good. Like, the vibes were really good, and there wasn't that many boys in there, because we heard that there was dodgy men in there, but it was mostly girls. But then James did see... What did you see? Oh, I felt... wasn't I saw it and felt it. Like, Patch Mama downstairs was kind of like... Imagine just like, I don't know, a theatre just been opened up and you yeah. can all dance on the dance floor like yeah. it wasn't really like a club it wasn't like a weird it's just literally a big open dance floor with music so we're all really compact and i'm dancing and i'm facing like the stairs basically where the music's playing and there's like a bar behind me and all i feel was a huge just smack in my back and i turn around thinking fucking hell who's this dickhead that's just pushed me and it was just this woman on the floor and two of our mates were like looking at the floor looking at her and i just see this this French Asian man getting held back. The fuck? Ready for fucking round two. So I help her up and I say, Are you okay? She's English. She was like, Yeah, I'm fine. I was like, What just happened? She's like, I just punched him in the face. What the fuck? And I looked at the guy and the guy was literally like, <gasps> Hold me so back. Scary. He was like about to fucking punch her again. And then was like, Whoa, whoa. And then these French men who was with this guy, they were all laughing. All laughing. And then they were like, Just calm down. To the girl. Like this, really to like, the girl like, 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 literally this 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 that would have pissed me off so much i would have fucking punched them all and she and um and it was a guy that kept rubbing his back on me all night uh, just yeah, really that like freak. just pretentious like yeah freak. they think they're better than everybody fuck everyone and um yeah i heard the, the girl saying like we're not leaving because we're not letting them ruin our night and they just stood there 
They just stayed exactly where they were, and the French people stayed exactly where they were, and they just didn't speak. It's like a power. It was a power play. Fucking yeah. hell, man. If I, if like, I'm not saying I would, but if like you punched a woman or you punched a man, and they just stood there, and didn't leave, you'd be like, that's fucking weird. Yeah. You expect them to go or something, and they just stayed. In your but vicinity. that's crazy that people actually think that's okay to punch a woman. No, no, no. But the fact he was getting what what made me was like wasn't like drunken punch. He was like, oh sorry, or like I don't know. It was the fact that he was like. Getting held back, yeah, he was fucking mad. Like, yeah, if no one was holding him back, he would just beat the shit out of her, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I didn't <clears> like that. And I asked if she was okay and stuff, and then, um, I didn't see any other bad things. But the the, the music was good, yeah, no, it was good, it was good, yeah, because you get you pay 20 quid to get in, and then you also get a drink with that, you so get it's free not drink, too bad, which yeah, which is like 16 euros, so yeah, it kind of works out, you know. And it was the queue was huge on like when we left, mm-hmm. but no, Paris overall was great, Patchman was great, so if you're ever in Paris, go there, but just be. Be, safe. be careful. They don't give you like drink covers or anything like that. If anyone's know. got a boyfriend, just bring them along with you and use them as like a bodyguard. But because everybody's like foreign there, because everyone, everyone all over the world goes to that club basically. Yeah. It's like a whole mixture of people, and no one's really trying to get at people. It's just friends having fun. Yeah, it's quite so nice. It's just like you think, oh, there'd be loads of French men like trying to approach me, or loads of X, Y, Z trying to approach me. It's literally not like whoever you go in with, everyone just normally keeps themselves. Yeah. There is a few men out there who like. Are definitely French, and they walk mm-hmm. around like, like really trying tall, to get something. Turtleneck, like, yeah. <laughs> trying to be mysterious. <laughs> but it's so obvious. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of older crowd as well. Hey, best friends who listeners, it's Cam and my wife Taryn from the Staying Up podcast. Don't you just miss the good old days, like when we couldn't get legally married? Well, no, obviously not that part. But I mean, when you just have sleepovers with your best girlies all the time. I mean, yeah, sleepovers are the best. You're staying up late, you're talking hot goss, mm-hmm. and you pour your little baby heart out before maybe having a little moment under the covers. Oh, mm-hmm. whoa. Well, lucky for us, we get to do that every night, but once a week, we invite you to join in. So tune in every week to Staying Up, where we drink up, cozy up, and stay up. We'll see you there. But one thing James did do while coming back from Paris, hung over in the airport the next day, uh, was he embarrassed me because this whole trip James would be doing would you rathers because you love a would you rather wouldn't don't you? <laughs> he would a would you? Would you? You love a would you rather he like in any water, 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 situation James just brings out the would you rather. Oh it fucking um, breaks the ice man everyone was just everyone was hung over everyone was like this oh, I'm hung over oh I can't cope. Well, fucking hell, you did it to yourself, man. Perk up, bro. Yeah, fair enough. You want to play a bit of that. You want to play a Would You Rather game, that's cool. But keep it PG when we're in public in an airport. The Would oh You my Rather God. James said was... What was it then? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Was, hold on, amp, you're up. What did, you, what did I say? Was it more of a, what would you do? Um, it was a, if you could punt... If you... If oh, you oh, it was, oh, if you could oh. get a hundred grand... Every time you punch an infant, would you do it? Under the age of five. Yeah. And they wouldn't feel it. They wouldn't know. What do you mean they would? Of course they would fucking feel it. No, they'll feel it, but they won't remember it. And it's like, they're not going to have permanent damage from your punch. Their body would remember it. No, it's... no Body trauma. It's my fucking question, bro. I'm the question master here. (laughs) I know the rules on my own question. So my rules are, if I punch a five-year-old... They, their body would feel it, it would hurt them, they would cry, but they will not remember it, they don't have any broken bones or any damage. The only th- problem is, you would subconsciously feel like a shit piece yeah, of Yeah, and also, human in that crap. moment, you have hurt a child. Exactly, so would you do it for 100 grand? No! Uh, Fine. You're telling me that you could physically, genuinely, go to a poor little infant child. I'd rock it ten times, bro. <laughs> That's actually scary. <laughs> bang, 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 nah. bang, bang. Millie. When it comes down to you it, want a you Birkin bag? You want a Birkin bag? You, you want a Birkin bag? No, I don't. Yeah, you do. That's a lie. No I girl does not want a Birkin bag. I literally couldn't give a shit. Bullshit. <laughs> I don't care. I come over with a Birkin bag and I go, that's for hmm, the bin. You go, no, I'll, I'll have that. I'll, I'll. Well, if you're going to put it in the bin, yeah, obviously exactly. I want it. Mm. But, like, but if I told you how I got it with the money, I'd be children. like, that's fucking blood money. Not blood money, they don't bleed. They don't bleed. But the fact that you were saying this in such a busy queue in the in airport, an airport yeah. you're openly admitting that you would punch an infant. But it's would you rather? I, had to, I generally had to step in. I said, James, you're embarrassing me. No, like, stop. It's it's the silly. It's silly because it's like if you someone said to me in the public, someone said in public, right? In public, someone goes, "Would you rather stab somebody or get stabbed?" I wouldn't go. This guy's dangerous. <laughs> 
<laughs> this that's guy different. is a criminal oiting yeah. the brew. Yeah, I'd just be still, like, uh, still, that's just a weird would you rather, but that's also funny. I think I'd probably stab someone. I don't want to get stabbed. Yeah, but st- I would still feel funny if I heard that. Yeah, that's just you because you're just insecure. Insecure? Like, no, it's... that's fucking weird to overhear. Oh, yeah, I'd probably stab someone. Oh, yeah, I'd definitely punch a fucking infant for 100 grand. That yeah, just shows your you character. Think. That would make me think. Your character. <laughs> oh, I think that shows your character. No, what's annoying, yeah, is it's just a fucking would you rather. You're one of those people that goes, that's actually no, inappropriate. Dude, anyone, like, your other would you rather was appropriate. It was, would you rather shit out baked beans or pea spaghetti? Yeah, and that was that's too easy. Fine. Everybody went, I'm going to shit out beans. This one, it's supposed to be a thought-provoking, fucking intense, like, like if I said, if in an airport, I went, I said this, in an airport, and I went, would you rather bomb an airport or get bombed in an airport? <laughs> That's totally fine because that could alarm people. But a stabbing or a punching of a baby or get hit by a car. Yeah, those aren't nice things. But it's supposed to be hard to answer. It's supposed to well, it wasn't you hard think... for you to answer. That's because I thought about it for ages already. You were like, yeah, I'd punch that baby. I'd Only punch ten punch times. so many times, ten mate. Ten times. You'd be like, a hundred grand, million. yeah, I'm punching that kid. Yeah, a milli. I'd get a milli and I'd leave. You're fucking crazy. Some people might want to get ten milli. A milli's not even that much money. Right, well... It's like a GTA 5 fucking cheat code, that is. Well, we asked you guys on Instagram, weird would you rather's, because we thought we'd keep this ball rolling and see if they're any weirder than the ones James has. I mean, they are very, very, very weird. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and it makes me feel better about myself. So if you have a problem, take it up with these people. Is that all right? Yep. <sighs> if you had to fuck two people... With the combined age of 20. What ages are you having? <laughs> what the fuck? So I have to fuck two people. Yeah. But add their, add their ages together and it has to be 20. Well, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Pass. That's just, that's so wrong. What would you do? No, no, no <laughs> nothing. Zero. Oh, fuck it out. You would fuck a 20 year old in a zero. James, shut up, oh. bro. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you freak. That's it wasn't actually me. not That's mine. Not mine. <laughs> that is not mine. The, the the male mind is so strange. A woman actually commented that. Well, that's fucked. So, ha! It's your kind. Your people did this. <laughs> Someone said, if Bella was a minor, would you be a pedo for her? A woman commented that one as well. That's fucking weird. What's your answer then? Would you be a would no, you? No, I wouldn't be a fucking pedophile. Okay, good. God. Would you rather Bella be your mum or your daughter? Uh, well, I think about it. I think Isabella would be more like my mum. Because she already is my mum. She already yeah. tells me, This is too inappropriate. <laughs> this is too old. You're going to marry me. Or she's like, Oh, no, you're not you're, you're enough. She mothers me a lot. So, um, But let's go into the problem. Halfway with there. If you're an inch in your mum <laughs> and your dad's an inch in you, do you push forward? Or push back. Yeah, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. And inappropriate. Oh and my, you just answer. No. Will you push forward or push back? I ain't answering that. That's vile. That's actually vile. You answer. You answer, you fucking freak. Well, it only makes sense to push back. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can, so I can slip out. Right. And get out. <laughs> yeah, if yeah, I push yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. I'm still in. Yeah, you're stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck. Yeah. I've still got to pull back oh, out. Oh, right. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Time. So it makes sense to go backwards. So it'd be sense to push back. <laughs> yeah. Which is really weird. <laughs> but the thing is, if you're already an inch in there, like... Yes, so I have to what? push an inch back. Yeah, but like you're already, already an inch in everything, so you might as well just go a bit back. No, yeah, so there's an inch here. Yeah, I'm yeah, an inch yeah, here, yeah. But if I put myself there, <laughs> my inch is out of my mum. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. <gasps> Next. Would you rather read a book detailing your conception or watch the video? Bear in mind, the book will be more time consuming. I would rather read because... You could pretend it's someone else. Yes, and actually seeing it would be absolutely disgusting and vile. Seeing how you got conceived. Oh, no, mate. No, no, no. no. That's like, that's so wrong. That's so wrong. It's nature of life. You're seeing your parents like naked and but no, doing but this don't shit. forget the books would be way more detailed like, yeah but like you way... said you can imagine you can you can pretend it's someone no, else because the names will be like your mum uh, yeah but at least it's it's you could say to yourself this isn't real but it is like, you're just reading something that... someone reads out to you it's like and they're like 
I don't know. Yeah, it's better than seeing it. Seeing it, you can't get that out of your head. Let's say your mum's name was Carol. Yeah. My grandma's called Carol, so changing the name. Steve. Steve, okay. Steve grabbed her butt cheeks. <laughs> so and caressed in- them. And caressed them so intensely. And as he leaned in, she moaned even more. Yeah, stop I, it. Exactly. That's grim. No? Yeah, that's grim. But when you can watch it, it's just two minutes. I don't know how long they were, you know, what your fucking parents went for. But let's say it's like a good, what's on average? 30 minutes? <laughs> They went for 30 minutes. I said, that's a long watch. That's nearly a film. Yeah. It's a short film. Yeah, I'm that's not watching time. that. I'm not but watching But reading that. a book could take days. <laughs> days. But I still would rather do the book. I still would. I think I'd just rather watch it. Get over it. I think it's AI. It's AI. Yeah, it's AI. Yeah. It's not real. It's AI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my mum just got her flowers. Oh, good. What do they look like? Wow. What'd she say? Oh, what a wonderful surprise. Thank you so much for the birthday flowers. They're so beautiful. They smell gorgeous mm. too. <laughs> okay, would you rather buy a skin tag off someone's neck, which is like a bit of extra skin, <laughs> yeah. or a wart off someone's toe? Skin tag. Yeah. I've tried to, I've got, I think I've got a skin tag here. I've never had one before. Oh, I've got a skin tag on my fucking eye. Really? Yeah, man. It's horrible. We've both got one. No, on my eyelid. Oh, on it? Like in my eyelid, like here. Oh, that's a sty, not a skin tag. No, I've had it forever. It's just extra bit of skin. Oh. Yeah, I tried... <laughs> Fucking hell, <man. laughs> I tried... Anyway, I tried... <laughs> I tried to pop mine and you can't pop it, so I think you can either bite it off or freeze it off. Freeze it off. I've got yeah. a big mole coming out here. I've got a huge mole up here, Yeah, actually. it's scared. Don't... James has a mole on the back of his head and I can't look Sometimes at it. Sometimes a barber it accidentally really creeps it me out. makes it bleed. He's like, oh, sorry, Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> it's ginormous. Yeah, right here, I'd really like you to freeze it off, please. Yeah, I'm thinking when I go by, I'm gonna have so many moles on my head. So many moles. Oh, that creeps I'm a me. Moly boy. Moly boy. But yeah. Um. Yes, I would rather do the skin tag because uh, a wart. Did you say? Yeah. Surely that's got some nasty bacteria. I always got told if I suck my thumb, I'll have warts on my finger. I knew a girl that did. Have but you suck on your finger. thumb every day, all day. Where's your wart? Uh, my body is used to it <laughs> but apparently if you suck your thumb it shrinks in size and I actually knew a girl in primary school her thumb was way smaller than her other thumb and then I also knew another girl who had warts all over her hands and she did suck her thumb but I don't know <sighs> if that's related and then I also knew another boy he had um, shields on his thumb it was like a plastic shield so he couldn't uh, suck, suck it, it. That's, yeah. that's what you need I know Fucking hell. Uh, would you rather drink a mug of snot or eat uh, a bowl of sick? Can we not talk about this? Because both things make me feel really, Imagine really... Imagine the thick ah! snot. I can't think about it. I can't think about it. I the can't think about it. It's not the one you list. Uh, James. Uh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. The thing is, I used to be throw up go as a kid. I used to throw up all the time, like anywhere and everywhere. So I feel like I'm more used to looking at sick, but something about snot. Like if you snot around me, like you're absolutely vile. Imagine like I remember one it, time. Like a, oh, that thick. We all go down in one clump. Like an, I remember one time in the first flat on the green sofa, <sighs> James left a chunk of snot on the side of it. I walk past and I go, surely not. Like, <laughs> That can't be real. And I said, James, what is that? And you went, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, how often is that? Like, how often do you do that? I is sneeze it, Because a this lot. is the first time I've noticed it, but... I don't normally... I, probably what would have happened is... <laughs> <clears throat> I would have sneezed, heard the connection of somewhere. <laughs> I went, where the fuck did that go? Yes. <laughs> you know you go, oh, achoo, and you hear it just slap the floor. Like, you're like, okay, that's hit the floor. But I, I felt something come up my nose. Yeah. I heard the slap, and I went, I have no idea. But every morning, James does the most loud, like, achoo! And I can hear the snot coming out of him. But he doesn't go get a tissue. And I think, where the fuck is that snot going? Like, seriously? In my mouth, I'll swallow it again. No, you don't. You better not. Sometimes. <laughs> no, but also I why I have a really bad fucking chest problem and I've realised it's because behind this wall, yeah, I know we keep talking about it, but we actually moved this wall the other day. We Insert moved a photo. Yeah. <laughs> this right. 
some of you guys know we have a really bad mold problem at home, right? And behind this wall uh, is another wall because this is MDF. Yeah. And um, we've been had this wall up for about a year and a half and we've never really checked behind it and we kind of don't want to check behind it because we think, fucking hell, mold. There's a window by this MDF and I peeked my head around and I went, holy fucking shit. Yeah, it's rough. Black fucking mold all over the wall, right? Fucking everywhere. Every time we come in here, I've got itchy eyes, I can't breathe. Uh, even in the bedroom, I can't breathe. There's mold everywhere. I'm allergic to penicillin, which is mold, basically. That's what it's formed from. This, behind here, I looked up, penicillin. I never knew that they correlate. The name correlate. is actually penicillium, the mold. Right. And that's why every time I go to bed, I have a really, really, really bad wheeze. I'm literally about this far away from having an allergic reaction well, yeah well anaphylactic shock I think that's crazy so, I would have asked like, some nights I'm actually going to die tonight yeah. I'm, I'm not even exaggerating and that's, now I fucking know but why but that mould looked like it had mushrooms growing on it it was yellow it was furry it, like the yeah, fact we that had, we for two years yeah nearly two years how long year have we been a year and a half we've been doing this podcast We've been breathing that in. Every day. Every day. Like, we definitely have mold poisoning. Oh, 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 but now we've cleaned it. We're fine. Yeah. I can sit in here. I've got itchy eyes. Yeah, my nose actually isn't as blocked. Would you rather you die first or Isabella die first? Well, you always say that you want me to die first so I'm not alone. And I understand... How that could be come across as like, oh, that's really nice. But also, at the end of the day, you're saying you'd rather let me die first. I'm not going to let, like, if it was between me and you. No, yeah, I would let you die first. Yeah, you're dead. But I want to live as long as possible, whether you're alive or not. Yeah, but you wouldn't. Why wouldn't I? After 60 years of us together. Yeah. And I die. What, you you're going to be would... hella depressed. Yeah, for like a few years. A few years! A few years! What do you mean? If I was 78, 80, I'd kill myself. No, you just wouldn't, though. You wouldn't because you've got your grandkids. Like, don't, don't visit me anyway. Your own other family. Don't visit me anyway. Yeah, if they didn't, fair enough. But if you had, like, support around you, you'd probably be like, right, that's no, really fucking I want sad. You, I but... want you to die first because I truly feel like I, I think I, it would be so heartbreaking. Uh, I don't want you to live a life like, if you obviously don't want to be with me, it's different. But, like, yeah. we're married and we're together forever. Yeah, I don't want you so to know shit. a life without me. Uh, Not, like, in a selfish way, but, like, I want you to just have only happy memories. And when you die, you die happy. Like, so everything's, yeah, ha- yeah. everything's how it was when you died and when you started. Whereas I feel like if when I die, mm-hmm. or if you died first, I would have, like, this grief. Yeah. I'm almost dying twice. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't think I could do that. I don't <clears> think you could do that. I don't want you to have that. I'd rather die twice than you die twice. <laughs> and if I'm a fucking horrible man for saying that, then... It's not horrible, but statistic... Uh, you just caught a flight. James! I didn't catch a flight. It's about his um, statistically, men do die first. And because you're 6'4", you're going to die somewhat early anyway because tall people don't live long. Less oxygen up there. <laughs> Pretty much. No, I don't know, but anyway. Uh, but anyway, we'll just see where life takes us. You never know. Well, it just makes me think, because obviously we have uh, been watching One Day recently. Yes. We finished it. Oh, we're fucking we were kidding. wrecked. So, spoiler alert, it's happening. When um, you uh, when, when when she died, I thought, fuck it, that's Isabella. Yeah. I don't know what I'd do. Same. I, don't, I think I would be in a bad way. <laughs> same, same. Like, I was literally, cr- I was crying so much and I was like, wait, if this was actually James, I, I don't know what I would do. Like, it actually made me deep shit. I don't think I could live alone. Yeah, I was thinking like, what if, what, what, what would I do if I was just walking back from the pool house and I got a call and it wasn't you on the phone, it was some stranger <laughs> saying that you've been hit by a car. Mm-hmm. Your whole fucking life would change, wouldn't it? Yeah, because I've experienced grief, but I feel like that'd be next level grief. Like, well, it depends how you know. It's all different. All, I think everyone's death is different grief. Like, because I live with you. Yeah. Like, we do everything together. We have dreams, man. Yeah. It would have been sad. It would. What would be sad? Because we both did the same job. Is that if you died or I died, and you've achieved those dreams, but I wasn't there or you weren't there to see it? Yeah. That would be mad, wouldn't it? That hits hard. Like if you were like, oh, my dream is for us to like be on Netflix, for example. <laughs> but, and then you die and then mm-hmm. I 
get on Netflix. Luckily, I don't really have any dreams. So, so if anyone wants to die, tell about that. <laughs> I mean, I have dreams, but there's not like a particular goal that I have at the moment. My goal. I would get a dog my... and name it Isabella. Aww. Or I have a child and I'd name it Bella. I oh, would, you, would you? Mm. Even though you hate the name Bella. I like, well, no, I call it Isabella. You like the name Isabella. But people call it Bella, that's what I'm saying. But everyone calls you Bella, so I don't know what to fucking call you anymore. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, oh yeah, my goals in life are to just travel and uh, okay. be rich. If you died and I travelled the world, I thought Isabella would love this. Yeah. If you went to the Philippines. It'd be weird though, wouldn't it? I'd feel yeah. so guilty. Yeah. You just have to live for the both of us, as they say. Yeah, that's what they say. But... but- we were fucked up after watching one day. Like, I still us... haven't got over it. And also, James keeps playing the awful, sad song. Like, I don't know why you like to do that. <laughs> but he'll be doing dishes and all of a sudden I hear that song. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> and then, do you know... Okay, that's enough. That's enough! Oh, fucking, you're no fun. You're no fun. Cut. I'm going to expose you right now. James said to me that on his way home, he listens to this song and he tries to get sad. And that's his way of um, acting, learning how to act. Because he doesn't need to go to drama school. He just needs to put that song on and try and get in his feels and then he'll know how to That's exactly what I try to do. an actor. Yeah. And also, James also has a big... Crush Big. on Leo Woodall. <laughs> like, James wants to be Leo Woodall. On your phone, you have screenshots of his haircut. You have screenshots <laughs> of his outfits. He recently just bought the Mr. Porter uh, shirt that he wears in the um, episode where he goes back to see his mum while his mum's still alive. And he's drunk. And he's drunk, yeah. And he gets kicked out of the house. Yeah. And you were like, cool, that's a nice shirt. And he found it. Look. Leo Wardle is a very, very great man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In his acting capabilities, he's a good-looking bloke. He's a cheeky chappy. I see myself on him. Do you know what I mean? If I work out, if, I fix my hairline. If. That's what I fucking said. <laughs> I could look like him a little bit. We have the same kind of eyes, a dark, dark... You know, I just thought, oh, I just kind of related him to somewhere. Yeah, I feel yeah. lost. And you know, I feel like I've been given good opportunities and I feel like I'm just floating sometimes yeah. but I felt connected and also it's yeah. the first time a fucking TV show that's moved me right Yeah. so anyway I also like his style I've always liked old money kind of vintagey style but I, I've moved myself out when I lived in Brighton because I thought that wasn't me but it is me right and um, yeah I don't fancy him like I wouldn't get with him no you just want to be I like to be him. his mate Yeah. I like to be your friend if you're watching <laughs> I like to be a friend alright and um, we've got mutuals, by the way. You follow Henry Rowley, so do I. You follow Jack Joseph. I know Jack Joseph. So we've got we get mutuals, you know what I'm saying? We can, we, we can make a TikTok together. <laughs> anyway, um, but no, the whole point is like, I just, I don't know. I just like the style, you know, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't fucking, I don't know what I'm saying. What you're saying is you felt inspired by him. Yeah, and also I want to act. And I, he's yeah. a great actor and him and fucking... Um, What's that guy's name? I don't know. Loki. What's his fucking name? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Tom, 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 Tom Hiddleston. Yes. Tom Hiddleston. Love him he, as well. Those two are like big in space. Yeah. I just want to act. But well, also, get, start I, getting but acting, I, no, but bro. I've just got a fucking, I've got a feeling that if I start acting, yeah, it would be like, I know it sounds very dickish, but I'm not trying to sound dickish. Like, normally you, you're so vulnerable when you act, and you, especially when you're learning and do like improv. Like, I spoke to Isaac about it. I want to do improv classes and stuff. But I don't want to go in there with people our age and they kind of have a preconception of who I am, if they know who I am. Yeah. I don't want them to go, that's that guy from TikTok. And if I, then I can't feel like I'm, I could be my true self. Right. Then I can't <clears throat> feel like I could fuck up because I'll be like, it wouldn't be like, oh, Susie from today's improv class fucked up. It'd be like, James, that guy on TikTok, yeah, he's yeah, fucking yeah. shit. Yeah. And it would just make me like, not be able to be myself mm. and that sounds awful and it might sound really up my own ass because no one might know who I am but if the off chance anybody did yeah. it would set me be so unsettling because I just want to be vulnerable I want to be shit I want to learn I want you to act because it's something you actually want to do I do and I, people probably think I can't act now and I obviously skits and TikTok isn't really what's real acting that's just yeah. acting on TikTok but I feel like I can act 
I can act. Well, you used to be a drama kid. Yeah, I did. I used to do drama kid. I used to do shows. Um, and I used to do puppeteering and singing. Well, choir. the time is now, my friend. You're only young once. Yeah, but Leo's 27. So, you know, yeah, I've got but four years of me. Yeah, but it took him time. And also, they filmed that probably like two years ago. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so get at it, my oh, friend. Oh, Leo, help me out here. <laughs> Make me an extra. Um, <clears throat> no, so it just made us think, like, with one day, it's all about finding your person and, like, mm-hmm. knowing they're there and, like, you know, it's a journey to get to them. I feel like you're my person and I'm your person. We spoke about it the other day. But obviously we've had relationships before and had things before. Mm-hmm. Or I thought, like, obviously you've fallen out of love with them. Yeah. And it's for the better. Mm-hmm. When did you? We we're wondering like how when other people realised they yeah. fell out of love. When did you realise you fell out of love with that person? It's quite a heavy thing. But we asked you guys on Instagram, and we got some responses, so we're going to read them out. Well, it's going to be weird, man. This is a very like weird episode. I like it though. So early in the day for this shit though. It's, like, it's the first time I've ever filmed a podcast pre fucking noon. The moment I realised I fell out of love was when he wanted to watch football instead of coming to a meal for my mum's birthday. I think it's that deep. Bit of context, because I know that on its own it sounds silly, but it was years of constant asking for more quality time together. That's my love language, by the way, and not receiving it. In that particular year, he'd seen my family twice. This was this December, and they only lived 30 minutes away. I'm all for having hobbies and your own interests in a relationship, but when you're constantly asking for something and not receiving it, there comes a point of no return, and that was it for me. Fair. I mean, I mean, that could be us. I was like, I I always do it to your mums every time. No, but I mean, I mean, are you mad? Are you mad? I mean, quality time of like, I love a walk. Are you crazy? Every Sunday, I dedicate <laughs> to you and to your family only. I don't see my friends. I don't watch the football. And only the rare occasion will I not go to your mum's. That is true. You do. Exactly. But the the walks and stuff like oh that. Oh, my God. I, I do want to do more of that. I fucking I walk do. to your mum's that's my love. La- that's my love language is going out of the house where you're not necessarily on your phones, like going on a nice big, like woodland walk or a beach walk i love the forest oh well, how the fuck I am i gonna like get I there then in another life i don't have um, a fucking car the train motherfucker oh look in the train why let me get a train to the forest that fucking well-known station just deep in the fucking forest you know there is like we like to go to arundel that's not a forest that's a fucking town there are forests there I know. And guess how long it takes us to get to Aaron like an hour and a half, and then we have to wait outside the station for an hour. Yeah, but that's that's what I love. I don't give a What's shit. What's your love language? Fucking people that don't yap I happen and just let me be me. I won't be with you if you talk, talk to me like that. <laughs> you better be fucking joking. Of course I'm joking. My love language is gift giving. No, what do you like to receive? Blow jobs. <laughs> So physical touch is your love of language. Physical guac, yeah. <laughs> Deep throat. It's my love language. I can't be a... <laughs> Men are such simple creatures. Yeah. Like literally all you have to do is give them that guac guac and feed them and they'll be fine. They do say make him keep his belly full when his balls empty. <laughs> <laughs> Never let a man leave the house when his balls full. <laughs> They say, really, it makes you do silly things. If you don't want your man to cheat, drain his nutsack. <laughs> There's a TikTok. This, this girl said, "I never let my man leave the house with his balls full, and she sucks his dick every morning." <laughs> no way, that can't be true. That's fucking hero. It can't be there. true. That's a hero. That's a one in a million. <laughs> Sucking cock first thing as you wake up. That is what I call heaven. <laughs> Would you treat me differently if I sucked your dick more? I don't know what you mean, treat you differently, as in like <laughs> give you nicer things. Like be nicer to me. I, d- I don't know. I, I feel d- like I you I'm would. Nice. I feel like I'm pretty nice to you. I feel like you would be nicer. Like you would just want to love I'd be more me relaxed. more because you'd be like so appreciative. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be like, God, this is a keeper, keeper. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? You <laughs> just asked me if I'd be nicer to you if you suck my dick more, and I just yeah. But said, you went, oh, that's a keeper, keeper. Like I'm not a keeper, keeper now. No, you're a keeper, but like 
ask any man out there if if you suck my dick every morning holy shit everybody will be envious do you know what i mean that's a a, that's a crazy (laughs) fucking thing to do that's good to know but you'd be happier yes (laughs) obviously why would you say it like it's a bad thing no i'd hate it i would hate it if i felt good i would hate it if you make me feel good well would you hate it every morning if i give you a massage every morning no i'd love it it. you would love it Yeah. yeah why would you love that don't love me now okay fine. fair fair well speaking of sucking dick that leads us on to the next one i was dating an army boy oh, here goes these army boys i was dating an army boy. <laughs> you all right Sorry to catch you off guard. <laughs> i was dating an army boy for a while and always had a bad feeling about him deep down One night when he was drunk, he messaged me telling me he needed to tell me something. Basically, him and his all-male friends were drunk and playing truth or dare, and my ex had dared one of his mates to suck his dick. His mate did it till he finished, which makes it even worse. That was the moment I was kind of like, um, yeah, no, I don't think I love you anymore if you're getting sucked off by your mate. God knows who else you're getting sucked off by. His army mate sucked. So him and all his army mates were playing truth or dare. That's on dead him. No, he asked someone to suck his dick. And the the mate did it till he came. Bro, bro's four hoes. (laughs) They do say... How can you let a girl suck you off if your boy can't do it first? Really? I've never heard that. No, they don't say it. It's not a joke. Um, That's crazy. Would you be with me if a uh, no. friend... Yeah. If someone licked your puss, yeah. <laughs> your best mate. And I asked for and it. And you asked for it, I say, mm, I think you're with the wrong person. Yeah. I don't think you I actually have much. no words for that. I can't believe that exists. It's also quite intense. Like It's quite that a sexual so thing intense. Like in front of everybody being like suck my dick that's brave yeah and then what was they getting it it. done in front of everyone like yeah Yeah, but you also like have to enjoy it to come do you know what i mean exactly that would just ring alarm bells for me i'd be like right you clearly don't that's just fucking crazy like that's not that's not just having fun and messing around with the boys no but if you got his penis out and just like shaked it sounds like rugby boys yeah that's like so weird that's still like not great that's not bad but like if you suck his dick like that's just crazy getting your dick sucked by your best mate It was a Wednesday. Wow. I remember waking up and feeling absolutely nothing out of nowhere. And I have no idea why. It was a horrible feeling though, having to tell them that you don't feel anything for them, even though I really, really wanted to. We kept trying and I was completely open and honest, but my feelings never fully came back. This got dragged out for three more years. And we were both in denial, trying to force it to work out, but it didn't work. Probably could take taking ashwagandha pills. <laughs> makes you numb to emotions. Also makes your dick bigger. How do you know this? Is that what you've been taking? It explains a lot, but anyway. <laughs> you haven't even touched my dick in about fucking four years, bro. Yeah, but I see it in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> You'll go walk to the shower and I'll be like, Jesus Christ. Okay, we hey. get it. I've got a big penis. Okay. What's new? Um, the fact that you generally can just wake up one day and feel nothing is terrifying. Like, you... yeah, I felt that before. With me? Yeah. And then I woke up and felt it again. The next was it day. a Wednesday? It was a Thursday. Ah. Uh, it was last night. Do you feel anything now? Or... Yeah, I feel better now. Fifty percent there. I'm not joking. <laughs> I am joking. I know you're joking because you love me and I'm the best that you'll ever have in your life. So if you don't love me, then you're silly. I love you. Okay, now. Um, I love you too. But Thanks. the fact that you could actually wake up and feel nothing is kind I of terrifying. I think personally, you never really loved them then. And I think you were just, well, what, but extra three years. So that's what makes it sad is she wanted to feel something, but she just didn't. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't know. Also, as a, as a bloke, it's almost said, I don't feel for you anymore, but we can keep them trying. I'm like, no. 
You don't fucking love me anymore. I'm not gonna force. I don't know. I feel like if you if you love someone and you have that love for them and they've been open and honest, going, I don't know why, but I just don't feel anything. But I'm willing to try. I reckon that you would say no, with them. No, I really would. Oh my god! If you said to me, James, oh, I don't actually feel anything for you anymore. I'm like, oh, fuck off then. I am no way am I gonna let's try. Yeah, you I, don't love me. I know, but I know my heart, and I know that I would be like, no, I want this to. Yeah, I would, I would try. Like, I would, I would want to hold on to it as long as but, possible. But, 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 I would, I don't want to walk around with you knowing that you don't love me. And I'm forcing it. I'm trying to convince you. To love Three me. years. That's crazy. That's really sad though, because you must have had such a sc- strong, like, stable relationship to really want to try work it out. Like, they must have like a good friendship as well. But it's probably plot- platonic love, yeah, like, friendship love. Like, I care for them, but I don't yeah. want to be with them. I feel like I have platonic friendship with you. If I like, <laughs> okay, right, guys, thank you for watching Best Friends too. <laughs> no, I'm like, out of here. No, like, no, yeah, platonic like, love and that sick. Sit back down. <clears throat> No, like, I, if we had broken up, I still would have such a platonic love for you, I think. I wouldn't. Like, I would... Say if you cheated on me, yeah. I'd be like, that's really fucking shit, because I love James romantically, but I also love him as a friend, and now I, I've lost both. Right. Yeah? If you broke up with me, I probably wouldn't want to talk to you. Well, obviously, that's what I'm saying, but either. I would be sad that I've lost that. I'll be sad that I've lost my girlfriend. Friends come and go. Girls stay forever. <laughs> what? If, 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 let's put it this way. If you broke up with me and you were like, James, I think we should be friends still. No. I don't believe in that stuff. You don't believe in staying friends? Like, if we broke up mutually and, like... It's never love, really mutual, though. The love is just, it's like, never, it's faded. Mutual. It's always We've one person trying out to convince love. the other person. Yeah, but say if we both just fell out of love, but we still... I'd be fu- like, that's a fucking miracle. On the Would you on stay Wednesday, friends with me? If we both at least simultaneously said, we need a talk. Well, yeah. oh, that was weird. Yeah, yeah. I've fallen out of love with you. That was weird. We just both said it at the exact same time. Yeah, yeah. Then I would. But if you were like, James, and you've got to talk to you, I think I'm out of love, love with you. Do you not feel the same? But oh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, it's, things have been different. Yeah, it's because I don't love you. You don't love me, do you? And you're gaslighting me. We should stay friends. But like, that's fucking weird. I did love you. Or we'll be like, let's have some time apart and then we can no. be friends after. <laughs> You really wouldn't want to stay friends with me if we broke up. If I still loved you and you broke up with me and said let's be friends still and I see you getting with new boys. Yeah, true. Fuck true, that. True, Why true. would I do that? No, yeah, but I'm saying you'd give yourself time to get over it. And then I don't know can... if you could ever get over someone like I've been with you for three, four years. Yeah, it's crazy. Spending every day with you. Why would I get over that? Yeah. It took me years to get over that if we broke up in a horrible way or you just broke up me out of nowhere. I've never been broken up with either so I'd probably just be spiteful. Yeah. I knew I fell out of love with my ex when he put his penis inside of his teddy and it got covered in teddy stuffing. Gave me the ick. Oh, what the fuck? In front of her? That's mad. Even alone. Uh, really it's one that? thing to put it in a teddy. It's another to have teddy stuffing all around it. Yeah, why would you fu- why the f- that means his dick was sticky. Also, it means he's down bad. He must have been hella horn. Yeah. Hella horn dog to be yeah, doing shit like that. If I saw you just, if I opened the bedroom door and you were doing that, I was I'd have stitch. to leave. I'd be like, <gasps> no, because that's that. If it was one of my teddies, that's yeah, I don't that's have abuse. A teddy to fuck. That's abuse. I'd be like, get the fuck I ripped out. A, I ripped a hole now. I'm, you're not welcome here. I'd change the keys. I would literally get all your clothes and throw it outside. I ripped a hole in the stitch, and I'm fucking fucking stitch's ass. Yeah, you're gone. You're gone. The disrespect, my teddy that I have to kiss every oh, night before bed. Oh, get over that part. Fucking, mate, it's a fucking teddy. It ain't real. Do you <laughs> know what I mean? But it's more the fact is, it, it's, it's, I wouldn't, if I saw you like scissoring fucking your elephant, yeah, I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I wouldn't be like, elephant, are you okay? Why, why would you do that to him? Why would you fucking do that, you fucking sick freak? Yeah, okay, got feelings, I understand, you know? I understand, I understand. No, it'd be like, why are you humping a fucking teddy bear? You've got me to hump, fucking hell, mate. Yeah. Grind on me if you're fucking yeah. that horny. Yeah. Why would you, f- and also in front of them as well. That's fucking, that's just, oh, that's weird. That's fucking weird. That's Yeah, gross. I'd get the ick too. When I saw an old, happy and married couple and thought, this will never be us. See, one of the reasons why I know that I love you is because I do see us being together, like, old. Do you see that? Yeah, I know. I see myself dead at 40, I think. 45. 
Okay, but if you could... That's not even a joke. I know, you always say that you're I feel a lot of feeling deep down inside that I will be dead at 45. Brilliant. Okay, well, I you know say... I can, I can see myself at 30, 40. I just can't see myself at 50 or 60. I think I'm dead. Maybe because it's hard to grasp because I can't see myself like that either. No, but, I've got a deep gut feeling that I'm going to die. Okay, well, theoretically, if you didn't have that gut feeling, could you see me and you living together as old people? Yeah, we'll be arguing a lot, though. What, as old people? Yeah. I feel like at that age, you just don't give no, a shit no, anymore. It'll be like... like it'll, be like <clears throat> it'll be like, James, can you make the food? I'm like, fuck off, bitch, I'm watching TV. <laughs> you go, okay. It'll be more like that. <laughs> it'll be more like... Um, you, you obviously know you love each other, but you just yeah. can't... You just, you just can't be You fun. just don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm like, it'll be like... I don't know, I feel like I've seen grandparents and stuff being like, chat shit about granddad or granddad will chat shit about grandma mm. I'll be like one of those ones I'll be yeah. like I don't know your, your fucking grandma's a bitch I don't want you to do that <laughs> <laughs> no but I see us like walking down the street together holding hands you know walks. going on like walks together as old people <laughs> you love a walk James if you're not if the, you don't I'll like hold your walks, hand whilst I'm in a mobility scooter yeah <laughs> If you if you can't give me that, we need to break up. Oh my god, I will fucking go on walks, bro. But I'll be dead at forty five anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm dead. I'm gone. I'm out of this bitch. When they crouched in the bath because it was too hot and just hovered over. My god, this rings a bell because every time I keep walking into the bathroom at the moment when James is in the shower, I walk in and he is literally crouching, meditating, just in the bath, like. I actually sat on the bathroom floor, or on the bathtub. Yes. I'm sat on the bottom of the yes, bathtub. Yes, or you've got your like legs up and you're like that. Yeah, and so you've can, got your head down. Yes, yeah, so like, I can put my head in between my legs. Going on. The water's hitting my neck and my back. And I can just think about my thoughts. And I was like, the fuck are you doing? And you went meditating. <laughs> I was like, okay. Like, you're in my fucking um, private area, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I accidentally walked into something here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You can just see your dick just <laughs> hovering in the air. Yeah, well, what, you want, what, what, I'm fucking naked, man. <laughs> Oh, Your the door. big ass feet. It was a scary sight. I med. I'm allowed to meditate. Yeah, I know. In any way, bringing up that shower bill today. I did this whole makeup, and James was still in the shower after. Should I tell you why? Should I tell you why? Should I tell you why? Because I just need to wake up, and also I need to meditate in the morning. Otherwise, I don't feel like I have a good day. I've got certain rituals in the morning. Every time I'm in the shower, I need to sit on the floor of that bathtub and think <laughs> about my day. Good. Okay. Just let me know when you're doing it next so I don't every walk day, into a every, jump scare. Every day, I'll do it. Every okay. day I do it. Every day I'm in the shower, I'm sat on the fucking floor. Okay. When I found porn and OnlyFans on his phone all whilst pregnant, I just felt pure hatred and disgust. I would be fuming if I found that on your phone. Because, yes, I understand you're not getting... You're not getting that guac guac. Well, technically you, could, you could fucking, get the guac guac. Yeah, you could suck, But yeah. you're not going to get, you know, a lot of sex, realistically. But yes, so what? Deal with it? Like, he is. the woman is literally <laughs> growing is. a child and you're you're dealing with it in that... That's cheating, in my opinion. Watching porn? Yes. Only fans, I definitely, I think. Only cheating. fans, yes. That's cheating, 100%. That's cheating. Yeah. But watching porn, you think that's cheating? I think it's disrespectful when your uh, girlfriend, wife, is pregnant fine but watching porn in general is cheating uh, uh, a form of it yeah because <laughs> I think it gives you some weird narrative in your mind of what sex should be like fair enough and OnlyFans is 100% Only, OnlyFans is 100% cheating because you're paying for somebody's needs yes. basically yeah so like, I agree if I saw in your phone that you had paid for like Anna Paul's subscription we're done mate mm. Like, I know she's fit and she got them titties. Hey, you're the one who looked at Anna Paul's OnlyFans ages ago. Yeah, I tried to. I couldn't get into it. that scared the shit out of me. Why? Because I was on my on my laptop or your laptop for doing some tax. And, like, the recent, like, do you know when you type in A? a. And it just comes up with the most recent search. Anna, Anna Paul, Paul OnlyFans. OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, because this was when I had just followed her. And I had no idea she did OnlyFans. And then all of a sudden she's doing like day in the life of an OF. And she's like going to the shop. And I was like, the fuck? I was like, I want to see this. So I typed in Anna Paul OnlyFans. No, I couldn't. Did you see anything? No, I didn't. I don't know how to use it. But yeah, crazy. Well, OnlyFans, you got to pay for it. Yeah, I know that. If you just type in Anna Paul OnlyFans or only Anna Paul Naked Online, you're going to get a picture of Anna Paul Naked Online. Really? To be fair, now, actually, th- it was quite an impulsive thing. Thinking about it now, I don't think I want to see Anna Paul Naked. I'll do it right now. Um, 
so I want to keep it because I really love her TikTok like she's one of my favorite TikTokers I feel like it would be disrespectful of me to look at her titties you know <gasps> Ho, there's no way is that a real dick no that's a dildo no oh my god no that's not real that's not fucking real <laughs> it's actually crazy that that's <gasps> no, hold on a minute is that real it real. can't they're be real. real what the fuck what the fuck <laughs> those are all Anna Paul's nudes I just found on the internet Wow. Wow. That is cheating if you're paying uh, for that stuff. Yeah. Because that's like... I can't believe... No, it's so strange. I know that doing OnlyFans, you can be a normal person, but like, that's so crazy. That's her. Do you know what I mean? I don't really watch Anna Paul's. Oh, uh, wow. It's really like... It's like a Hannah Montana like, It's like Corinna Cop when she had a... When she started doing OnlyFans. Yeah. That was fucking mind blowing for me. That's crazy. That's like actually mind blowing. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, vlog squad. Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just <laughs> one day you go on Twitter, and you just see her tits. Mm -hmm. You're like, fuck. okay. Fucking well, um, shall we leave the episode here? Oh, that's a good way of ending it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for listening to this week's episode. We'll be back in two weeks' time. You know the drill. Monday at five. You know the rules. Big up, Bebo. <laughs> Did you guys see that Bevo was on Cody Coast pod podcast, Kate? And he's going to be playing in Brighton. Go, go to a club appearance in Brighton at the end of the month. We should go. But what I was going to say, guys, comment down below who you want to see on the podcast. Comment down below what you want us to talk about. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Give us a five star on Spotify. And make sure follow. to follow the TikTok. See you guys in another episode. Bye.